Hi everybody, thanks for watching. My name is Varushka. In this tutorial I am going to teach you how to do some Great Gatsby inspired makeup. So 1920s vintage inspired makeup, which is what I have on right now. We're going to be focusing on Daisy Buchanan, the character out of The Great Gatsby. Um, I, I took inspiration from her makeup. So that's what we'll be doing. So I start with a nice clean face. I've got nothing on but my Hydra Veil Rehydrating Gel as my um, makeup base. So now we're going to come in with some foundation and prep our eyelids. So I'll be using Illa Masqua's Skin Base Foundation in shade 8. I'll pick a little bit of that up on my fingers, work the product together, and we're just going to put that over our eyelids and um, just over our brow bone. Once you've applied your foundation to your eyelids, set it. I'm going to be using Nude by Nature's Mineral Cover and applying that with the Eco Tools Kabuki brush. I'm using the Mineral Cover because that's going to give us a very nice flawless radiant finish which will be perfect for this vintage look. So I'm just picking it up on the end of my Kabuki brush and applying it all over where we've just popped our foundation. So Your next step will be to define your eyebrows. To do the perfect 1920s vintage eyebrow, you need to round off the head of your eyebrow to an oval shape. They didn't have any harsh lines. So it'll be quite oval shape and elongated and flicking out. I'm going to be using Illa Masqua's Eyebrow Cake in Motto, which is an ashy colour perfect for blondes. I'll be applying that with an Eco Tools angled brush and I will be rounding the head of my eyebrow making it a beautiful oval shape to achieve that Great Gatsby inspired eyebrow. So you can see I've really rounded off the edge of my eyebrow and I flicked it out quite dramatically at the end to do a vintage inspired Great Gatsby eyebrow. Your next step is to come in with a powder two shades lighter than your skin tone. So I'm going to be using a masquerade um, face powder here. The colour is rubbed off on the back unfortunately but I'm sure it will just be one of the lightest ones and I'm going to be applying that to my eyelid using an Illa Masqua br blending brush just pick up some of the product on the end and apply that all over your eyelid up until your brow bone because that is going to give you the perfect base to shade and blend all your um, eye color, eyeshadows that we're going to be using in this look out onto. Does that make sense? We're going to be able to blend much easier with this base. Once you've applied your base powder, it's time to do a bit of a contour on the eyelid. What I'm going to be using is Illa Masqua's eyebrow, uh, sorry, Illa Masqua's eyeshadow in Justify. It's a sort of torpy brown, which will be perfect for doing a bit of eye contour. And I'll be applying that with Illa Masqua's blending brush. When you do a 1920s inspired eye, you'll notice that they have a crescent moon shape here that's sort of left clear. So we're going to do that on both eyebrows. We won't apply any powder to that section of our eyebrow. So where it arches right until about an inch before the end of your eyebrow. So start to contour. Keep it up on your crease. You don't have to come down onto your lid. It won't matter if you do though for this look. And just really get in there. Define the crease. Come right up into the corner of your eyebrow here because they had quite a lot of um, color and pigment in the corner here and then leave that bit clear and wing it out towards the edge. You can see how I've blended that powder, that eyeshadow powder into my crease, the corner of my eye and nose here where it meets up and then I've left that crescent shape nice and clear and then I've gently blended it out on both sides. Your next step is to come in with a nice dark brown eyeshadow. I'm going to be using Natio's eyeshadow in Mocha and I'll be applying that with an Eco Tools concealer brush but you can use it as a big eyeshadow brush, whatever you like. And what we're going to do is um, we'll leave this last third of our eyelid clear and we're going to put the, the brown all over our eye, blend it into our crease and bring it out into a rounded off wing. It's very important that it's rounded because that's very 1920s. They had a, a rounded finish at the end. So let's do that. So you can see how I've really blended the colour out so it's rounded at the end. I've left that crescent moon shape bare and I've also brought that dark brown eyeshadow into the corner of my eye here and left this little bit clear. Your next step is to come in with a very dark eyeshadow. I'm going to be using a black eyeshadow. I'll be using Masquerade. The color is 489. It's just a plain black. And I'm going to be applying that with a tapered blending brush by Eco Tools. So you'll pick up a bit of the black. What we're going to do now is to really emphasize the cat eye. So we're going to round it out, not all the way out to where this brown is. We're going to stop 
just about here and we're going to round that out bring it down onto the lid and then cut it through the crease so and don't bring it in any further than a third of your eyelid so we still have this nice transition from black to brown to a clear lid so you can see I've blended the black one third of the way in all the way across the lid lightly up into the corner of my eye around and then softly winged it out here so now your next step is to come in with a luminizing powder I'm going to be using Masquerade's luminizing powder in Moon I use this a lot I'll be using it with an Illa Masqua blending brush just pick up some of the product on the end of the brush and we're just going to pop it in this clear bit here and just in the corner of our eye I've gently applied that luminizing powder in the corner of my eye and you can also just take a little bit and just lightly brush it over the top of your brow where it's clear. Your next step is to come in with an eyelining pencil. I'll be using an NYX eyelining pencil in black and you're going to line your top lash line from the outside in but we're going to stop um, and leave a little gap. So stop at where your lashes end and fill the rest of your lash line in. You can see I've applied the eye pencil and I've just stopped at where my lashes end and I haven't winged it, it's just blunt. Now come in with a Q-tip or a cotton tip. I'm going to be picking up a bit of that black masquerade eyeshadow that I used in the crease. I like to use a cotton tip to blend, they're perfect. So now just blend this um, pencil just out a little bit. It doesn't have to be super smudged, just a bit blended. Now I'm going to come in with an NYX pencil, this is a charcoal colour, and line the water rim of my eye and smudge this right through my bottom lashes as well. I'm using a charcoal colour because I think it's more complementary against the white of your eye. After you've smudged the charcoal into your lower lash line, now use a liquid eyeliner to define your top lid a little bit more. I'll be using Face of... I always do that upside down. Face of Australia's liquid eyeliner in black and we're just going to apply it to our top lash line just close to the lashes to make it a little bit darker you don't have to do a big wing or anything at the end just make sure that it's not a blunt finish so you can see I didn't flick it out dramatically or anything like that I just sort of um, tapered it so it ended nicely and not too bluntly now take your blending brush again pick up a bit of the dark brown eyeshadow that you were using for your crease for me it was Mocha by Natio and just sweep a little bit of this underneath the eye here just um, two-thirds of the way across that'll just help to blend out the eye a little bit after you've done that highlight the inner V of your eye with a nice um, high metallic eyeliner I'm gonna be using Lime Crimes Uni Liner and the colors reason as you can see it's great silver Look how cute the lid is little spider webs and everything now just come in and do the inner V of your eye any silver eyeliner is going to be fine or you can even use a luminizing powder and just wet the end of your brush and use it wet now that our eyes are almost finished we can come in and do our face so just clean up any fallout that you might have had underneath your eyes and I'm going to come back in with my Illa Masqua skin base foundation using my fingers I'm just going to pop that all over my face especially under this area here because when we're doing a smoky eye we really want underneath to be nice and clean and flawless just pat that everywhere that you need it and then I'm gonna buff that into my face using an eco tools buffing brush now I'm gonna use my nude by nature mineral cover again as my setting powder so I'll pick a little bit of that up on my eco tools kabuki brush and swirl that over my face from my nose out and don't forget to blend this down your neck as well after you've set your foundation, now apply mascara. I'll be using Illa Masqua's mascara in Raven and apply quite a nice thick amount to your top and bottom lashes. So I've got my mascara on. The next step is to contour. So 1920s face has always had a very dramatic contoured sort of appearance. Um, and you'll see that a lot when you look at face charts of 1920s makeup. There's heavy contouring on the cheekbones and on the temples. So I'm going to be using my Illa Masqua Contour Powder Blusher in Disobey. I'll be applying that with an angled contour brush, picking that up. And really, um, I've already done a tutorial on contouring, so go for it and have a 
have a look at that if you'd like but just contour your entire face cheekbones temples down the side of your nose and your jawline and if you have a high forehead you can contour that too if you'd like after contour I'm going to apply a really lovely nice um, light pink blush to the tops of my cheekbones. I've chosen this colour because looking at the movie um, stills from what I've seen of Daisy Buchanan she has a light pink so that's why I've chosen it. I'm going to be using an Illamasqua powder blusher in Nymph as you can see I've dropped it and shattered it which is what I do with most things that I own. So I'm going to be using an Eco Tools powder blusher and I'll pick some of that up on the end of my brush and I'm just going to gently sweep that over the top of my cheekbone. So I've popped that lovely blush on and after that come in with an Eco Tools fan brush or any fan brush and pick up a bit of highlighter. I'll be using the Masquerade Luminizing Powder in Moon and just apply this to the high points of your face. Also don't forget to contour your cupid's bow because you'll see in lots of um, 1920s photos they have a very defined cupid's bow. Now that we've got our face completely finished, all that's left is lips. I'm going to be using three products today to get the desired look that I'm after. I'll be using a Masquerade lip gloss. It's just a plain red, blood red Masquerade lip gloss, blue based. I'm going to be using a Savvy Long Wearing Lip Liner in Cherry. And on top of all of that, I'm going to be using Illa Masquerade's lip gloss in Shoot. I'm using this green one because it's going to make this red lipstick when you mix them together the perfect dark red so watch the top lip is really important um, for a 1920s look because they had quite a defined cupid's bow I've colored in my entire lip with the lip liner I'm gonna come in with that lip gloss this is more like a it's very very thick it's like a lipstick and I'm gonna press this into my lips now I'm going to come in with my Illa Masqua Green Lip Gloss. I'm just going to pop a little bit of that on my finger. Just the tiniest bit. And now press this or mix it into your lipstick. As you can see it creates the perfect dark red lipstick. All our hard work has paid off. So this is the end result of our Great Gatsby inspired makeup tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I had a lot of fun making it. Um, if you would like to subscribe, if you liked what you've seen, I would love that. Otherwise, I will see you at the next one. Bye!